Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It has been such a long time coming. This is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time but have hesitated for a few different reasons that I'm not going to get into. But today I was just feeling inspired and I was ready to jump into it. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was just kind of talking and I found that filming and doing your makeup is a lot harder than it looks. So hopefully I only learn from my mistakes and get better from here on out so I can provide better quality videos to you guys. This is kind of just like a talk through, like a peachy glow, get ready with me, glow, A. Mm. So I'm just going to be talking through and showing you guys the products that I use and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Duh. This is going to be difficult not to look because I have a camera that has a flip up screen and I don't want to look at the lens, like I keep wanting to look at the screen. But first things first is I moisturize my face. My favorite thing to use is this CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I've used it since I was probably 13 years old. I've seen a dermatologist since I was that age as well. And after moisturizing, the first thing I'm going to do is go into a primer. The Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I have oily skin. But I find when I wear mattifying primers or like pore minimizing primers, it can make my foundation cling to some dry spots. So I just use a hydrating one. It's kind of like a double moisturizer. I don't know if it really does anything, but it makes me feel good. Okay. For foundation today, I'm going to go in with one from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Are you going to focus? Maybe? And this one is a little too dark for me, so I'm going to mix it in with some of my NYX foundation mixer. These are really nice because they come in a lot of shades. This one is white, like it's literally just pure white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of that on my hand and mix it with the foundation. Whoa! This is going to be a disaster. I can already tell. I put way too much. and paint it on. All right, so next I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend this all in. I tried a new face mask last night, the 24 karat gold one from Peter Thomas Roth. And I have some like little dots right here. I'll give you guys in so you can see. And I didn't have those before, but hopefully it'll go away. So I'm just gonna put a little extra love on that area. And anywhere else that I feel like I need more coverage. Since I don't really know what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do anything really heavy because I just have a couple things that I need to do today. I'm thinking something peachy, something glowy. Okay. Now I'm going to do concealer. I have some dark circles under my eyes. Since I'm fair, I need this light peach color. And I'm just going to place this where my dark circles are. You don't want to put this on your whole under eye because you don't want to correct the whole under eye unless that's where your problem area is. But my blue and purpleness goes up into here, so I'm going to extend this up into here. And then I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. After you're done color correcting, you can then go in with concealer. And I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. Chantilly? Chantilly? It's the lightest one that there is. <laughs> Taking the same beauty blender that I just blended out my color corrector and then just blend out that concealer. Mm -hmm. 
Before I set it with powder, I'm gonna go in with cream contour. And I'm using the Anastasia foundation stick in this shade Shadow. I love these products because they're really easy to blend on any foundation. And the color is just really nice. The finish looks really natural. I'm going to take my JD Weighty 180 Luxie 182 nose contour brush. Everyone's nose contour isn't gonna be the same because obviously everybody's nose isn't the same. So it's all about trial and error. I have to blend in this contour. I'm gonna blend it in using my Marc Jacobs The Face 2 brush and just blend it up. You never wanna blend contour down because you want everything to be up. You don't wanna blend, this area is supposed to be light as is this area and then this little area in here is the only one that you want to have a shadow. See, it just looks really natural. Since it's been a minute that we applied the concealer, I'm just gonna look up and blend all of the concealer. Always look up when doing this because you really wanna get in those fine lines and wrinkles. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and dip my Damn Beauty Blender right in it. And set this whole area with translucent powder and do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm gonna set all my areas that I contoured. And to do that, I'm gonna take, this is actually a Sephora blush. This is in the shade Tranquil. And it's, oh, never mind, it's not a blush. It's a contour sculptor, but it's basically, the color is, it's almost gray. <laughs> so this is really good for people that have fair skin. And I'm just gonna take my MAC 168 brush. It's an angled brush. I love this brush for contour and for blush. I'm gonna set my nose contour with that same powder. And just gently go right over the contour. Then to clean up my nose contour, I'm just going to take my same beauty blender and translucent powder and coat the sides of the nose. And this will help. Everything just look a lot more sharp. I know you want your nose to be snatched, but you want it to look natural at the same time. So I'm just gonna put it over everything and then brush it off. Next, I'm gonna bronze. I'm gonna try out something new today. Hula Light, which is a lighter hula. So this is the regular hula that most people can use, and then this is the Hula Light. And I'm just gonna take my Tom Ford bronzer brush that Jacqueline Hill made me buy, and I'm gonna try this out for the first time. So. We'll see. Ooh, I like it. It's very hard for me to find bronzers that don't make me look orange. Because there's a difference between a contour shade and a bronzer shade. And it's very hard for me to find bronzers that don't make me look orange. I can find contour shades and use them as bronzers. That's usually what I have to do. But this is an actual bronzer. And so far, it is looking good. I'm liking it so far. It doesn't make me look orange. I like it. Just blend everything together. For blush, I'm gonna go on with this one. It's called Melba by MAC. move on to my eyebrows I love eyebrows but I hate doing them I think it's just because it takes so long and you have to be focused it's just annoying first I'm just gonna take a spoolie and run it through my eyebrows you just want to make sure your hand is steady and just underline 
the brow. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed in two days. They're giving me some struggles right now, but come Thursday, everyone will be happy. I know it probably looks harsh right now, but once we take that spoolie to it, it's gonna really soften up and look more natural. You see the difference? Like this one looks way more natural. I'm not done with it yet, but this one just looks really harsh. And then after you brush it out, everything just comes together. So now what I like to do is just take a brow powder, a dark brown brow powder. The one that I'm using is from Smashbox on an angled brush. And I'm just gonna fill in any of the areas that the pencil missed. Now, I'm gonna move on to eyes. And like I said, I think I'm just gonna do something peachy, something glowy. So I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, yeah, that's probably it to be honest. I'm probably just gonna use Candy Peach. Make it really simple. I'm just gonna sweep this all in my crease. Looking down, and this is on a MAC 224. This is just a fluffy blending brush. Any one that you have will do. But I'm just gonna lightly buff this all in the crease. And back and forth, windshield wiper motions until we have a nice wash of color. Guys, this filming thing is a lot harder than it looks. We're trying to talk and do it at the same time. I don't have music playing. It's just stressful, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we're peachy. Just to blend up here some more and add some more warmth, I'm going to take Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right above that coral color and just blend it all in circular and windshield wiper motions. I'm gonna take E36 by Morphe and take that color and just add it all the way on my lower lash line. So I wanna kinda have like a peach halo. Now, just to add a little bit more warmth, I'm gonna take that Hula light bronzer that we used and I'm just gonna add it right to the very top. I honestly didn't plan to have this this dramatic. Not that it's, I mean, it's still very soft, but I just wanted like a light wash of color, but it's like once I started adding the peach, I couldn't stop. Like I just wanted it to be bigger and like brighter. I, I really like it though. I think it's coming out. I like my eyebrows, the ends of them, to be pointy. Some people don't like it. That's fine. It's just how I like to do it. So how I do it, I'll just dot a little bit of concealer. And then I will take a flat definer brush. You're just going to line the very bottom. And then I'm just going to take my finger and kind of blend this all in. Now that that is done, I'm just going to... Take my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Run this through my brows. I always wear this. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, and it's a tinted brow gel. I'm just gonna add some color and fill in any spots that you missed. It just like, I don't know. I just love it. I'm just gonna brush this all the way through. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my highlight ready. I'm gonna go in with setting spray. This is the Boja White Charcoal Mattifying Setting Spray. It's really important that you don't really move when your makeup is setting spray is drying because that's how your makeup will set. Before that dries though, I'm just gonna take this Morphe Y14 highlighting brush in Champagne Pop. It's 
like a peach highlight to go with the look. And I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Whew. Also above the brow. The cupid's bow. The tip of my nose. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and then just go over everywhere that we highlighted. And this is just gonna help the highlighter sink into the skin and make everything flow nicely. Now what I'm gonna do is just curl my lashes. This is just a Sephora eyelash curler. Some people like to heat their eyelash curler, but I mean, I don't. Next I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Not that it really matters because I'm going to put fake ones on anyway. But if, even if you're not wearing fake lashes, this mascara is just so good. It all just depends on what you like though. I like more lengthening than volumizing. I'm actually going to try a new pair of lashes today. I usually wear the Ardell Wispies, but I picked these up at Ulta the other day. They are the Eyelor Lux lashes. I think the style is called Baroque. And I just thought they looked really pretty, so I'm going to try these out today. Grab them in the center with your tweezers. And then my favorite glue is the House of Lashes brush-on glue. Just apply a thin layer of glue to the band. And you just want to stick them in the center and connect them on each end. I like to take my tweezers and go in between my real lashes and the fake ones and just squeeze them together. This is going to fuse the fake ones with your real lashes. Next I'm just going to take a nude liner. This is by ColourPop and it's called Honey Dude. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. By doing this, it's just going to help your eyes look more open and bigger. The same mascara that we did our top ones with. And I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes. Now I'm just going to add an inner corner highlight using the same highlighter that we used on our face. And I'm going to take that on a detail brush. same thing on the other eye. This will also just help open up your eye. And I'm also going to add it to the brow bone. I'm going to take my MAC 242 brush and highlight my brow bone with the same highlight. But you make sure, make sure you just keep the highlight under the arch because anywhere you put light it's going to lift. So you don't want to drag it all the way down because you don't want to look like this. You know what I mean? That way when you turn, you get that perfect, mm, mm, bam, bam, bam. Last but not least, lips. First, I'm just going to line my lips with the MAC. Where I carry a Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil in the shade New Ombre. I did not realize until after I was done filming that my camera cut off before I put my liquid lipstick on and lip gloss but I'm wearing the Tarte Matte Lip Paint in the shade Pillow Talk and Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Pretty Thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I, uh, I'm getting like nervous. <laughs> And of course, I forgot to love my beauty blender, so I have to go do that. I'll be right back. I am back. Earthquake. I have Oreo on my lips because I was drinking an Oreo ice cappuccino. I need more white stuff.